Hi everybody, I'm Melo and welcome to Melo in Japan. Today I want to show you guys how to pass the test, the driving test in Japan on the first try. Okay, this is not 100%, but if you do as I say, I think the chances are you can do it one, one, one time, like I did it. So the test starts outside the car, okay? When you come to the car, you have to come in the back and look like this. Make sure there's nothing in the car. Can you show it your hand? Like that. Then you come forward. Like this. Okay. How's you make sure you look back? There's nobody coming, so you can just go inside the car. Even the car. Alright guys, so oh, inside the car. Before everything, put your seat belts. Seat belts on. You lock the door. There's gonna be a button here. Mine's different. Lock the door. Okay, then you put your hands on the wheel like this to make sure you have the distance with your seat. Like this is the perfect distance. Okay? Everything is about checking. So you point, you better, the better thing for you is for you to point, for example, right mirror, okay, left mirror, okay, middle mirror, okay, always touch this mirror and do a little like that, doesn't matter if it's good, but just do like that, okay, so the police officer is going to tell you to start the car, you start the car, brake down, take the handbrake, blinker, you make sure, okay, back, okay, put on drive, check again, you go. Make sure you keep to the left most of the time because to avoid any motorcycles and stuff. So when you turn, you make sure you check the mirrors, front okay, back okay, nobody's coming, so you can make the turn. This is not exactly the way it's gonna be the test, but just for you guys to have an idea how is it. Okay, the light is what's on. Back okay. Stop the car. Always stop behind the line if there's a line. If you are the first car, of course, it's gonna be the first one, so stop always behind the line. Never on the top of it, you lose points. again the red light stop light is red over there so before you even stop the light you look in the mirror say back okay in Japan is different it doesn't matter how much you know how much you know how to drive they want you to do these checkings that's why I always tell you you better do you tell them what it is you know they say right, left, back, okay. You can't even say in English. As long as you say any point, is what they want to know. Uh, at the, 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 the driver's license center is going to be uh, railroad tracks. It's basically it's just a sign, but this is very important. I want to show you guys how you have to do in Japan. Always you have to stop at the railroad tracks. You have to put your windows down. So over there there's a railroad track, okay? So let's stop behind the line. Okay, back okay. Then you roll down the window a little. Right okay, left okay. Right okay, left okay. Go. Always double check. Close your window. Always keep on the left. When you're driving, always keep on the line left. Now 
I'm gonna make the next left. Always be, be very careful of the people driving bicycles because they have the okay. Now I'm gonna turn. So when you turn, okay, okay, let's go. I always have to stop like that. It's pretty simple, but if you don't do these things, they don't let you pass. Okay, now. At the last pull, I'm gonna just stop like the end of it. Let's say, for example, give the blinker. The last pull, let's say, is Ichiban, the first one. This one, for example, second one. Okay. Stop. Brake. Engine off. Now, very important, when you finish, there's two more things. First, you, you just don't open your door. You look in the mirror and you do like this. You just unlock the door and you look outside a little. Okay, there's no car, so you can go. Now, this is very important. There's gonna be cons there. Instead of cons, I'm using this pulse. For example, let's say this is the second one. Basically, that's how you have to stop. And it's not supposed to be over 30 centimeters. It has to be less than 50 centimeters from the curb. So the closer the curb, the better. And now we stop by the, the let's say this is the cone, so that's how we're gonna stop it. Not much longer than this. If you stop like over here, you already fell. So here you'll be good. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very basic, but that's basically what you need to know. So if you have any questions, drop me a line. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.